Perfect. Perfect. Yes, sir. Bass Brothers. Here we go. We got Outcher. Sun's coming up over there. Trying to get on at least three pounder today. I need some weight. I need some weight. No <laughs> dinks, no halves, no ones. I want my line to be like. <laughs> What's up, guys? Bass Brothers Fishing DMV. We are out at Little Seneca Lake. Me and the bro doing some COVID-19 fishing. It's all about getting out the house right now, keeping your sanity, doing something you enjoy doing, guys, but keep it safe. With that being said, we got about eight boats out here, uh, probably more by now, because we've trolled out to one of our spots, maybe about 20 minutes, but we anticipate a heavily, heavily pressured day, but we're gonna try to pick apart spots, just try to throw baits that the fish will react to try to outthink everyone else pretty much. Uh, water temps is 49 degrees. Supposed to be cloudy skies today, but doesn't look very cloudy. Sun is out, the sun feels good. Beautiful day expected today, so hopefully we'll get on some bass. Man, this base looks nice. Yeah, still ain't got on it nah, that's just, that's just <laughs> all I'm out of time right there. I would eat that. We got two boats where we are right now. And I think these three boats are all too, well, there's three of them. We only see two of, the, two of the boats right now. But So hopefully when we look around this corner to the right, there will be no one here because that's where we want to go. We're about to go hit this bank and stay on this bank. I'm making a judgment call to go this way and then go down there. <laughs> yep. Perfect. 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 Nope. Yep, got one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's yeah, he's turning the boat, bro. Oh yeah, he's tugging. That's why we here. Warren's on the first fish of the day. And it's a nice one. Like about a pound a pound and a half. Oh, barely hooked. Whoa. No, he's hook hooked. Okay. Yep, nice, nice bass. Look at that guy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice fish. On a square bill. Nice belly. Pre spawn bass right there, guys. Oh, yeah. Nice looking fish, guys. Okay, we're not going to get too excited and loud because there's too many people on this lake. Yep, caught him on that right there. Nice looking fish. All right, guys. So, first fish of the day. About a eh, pound and a half or about two pounds actually. Caught on this uh, squirrel bill crankbait here, bluegill pattern. Nice looking fish. Pre spawn belly. All right, buddy, time for you to go. Don't tell anybody you saw us. Nice fish, man. Oh, yeah, your mouth bite me. Ah, stop biting me. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, the skunk is off the boat. The skunk is off the boat. All right, so broke this bait in, guys. Just said earlier that I never caught on this bait. It is now official. Wish I could remember the name of it. We are fishing quietly today. Don't need to draw too much attention to where the fish are. Strategy, guys. Fishing on a highly pressured lake. You got to strategize. All right, switching over to the Bandito Bug. Gonna slow down and try to pick this, this uh, bank apart. We've done moving baits, so we're gonna change over and try to give a different presentation. We know fish like this side of the lake. This is the Okeechobee Bandito Bug with a tungsten quarter ounce weight, four out extra wide gap. Mm. If it's in his mouth. No. Uh, Oh my gosh. He had it in his mouth for a while. He had it in his mouth for a while. Okay, he's... He had it for a little while. He must have been swimming towards us. Yeah, he was doing something. He was just chilling with it in his mouth. All right, guys, here we go. Me and Warren are officially in the record books. Nice little fish right here. Caught him on the Okeechobee Bandito Bug, if I can get it over here. What I like about the Okeechobee's got both blue and green on it and it's got specks really nice pattern So not too big probably a pound. Maybe I don't know Just felt good to get them. So guys, that's why we switch over 
change the presentation. We're in the same exact spot, haven't moved. All we did was change our presentation, give the fish something different to look at, and landed one on the second or third cast with the bandito bug. I really didn't feel him when I set the hook. I felt just a little something. I said, let me just see. And it didn't move. He was trying to savor it in his mouth. He's like, ah, now later. We're gonna rent one of these right here. <laughs> Just come right out the back door, pitch it in. Bandito bug is back, 2020. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yep, you got it. I thought it oh, was he had it. Oh, he still has it. All right. Got it, got it, got it. Got another one, guys. Oh, don't jump. He's small. A little dinky. He's doing a little fight, though. A little fight dance. Yeah, I saw your line I got you, buddy. He choked it. Come here, guy. I knew you had it when I saw your line go sideways. Yeah, I saw that that drift. Mm -hmm. He choked it. He choked it. Mm -hmm. All right, guy. I'm going to get you off. I'm going to get you off. <laughs> All right, that's number two. This guy choked it, guys. Look at that. He inhaled it. I can't even see. Can you guys see that? It is down his throat. He has a big body and a small mouth. About the same size as the last one. All right, buddy, thank you for biting. These fish are very healthy and nice looking. Nice lateral lines. All right, guy, get off my finger. All right, guys, that's the second one on the bandito bug. Maybe the, I don't know, second or third cast after that last fish. Not really sure. It's only been about five, 10 minutes. All right, guys, change it up one more time. So we're gonna go a little bit more finesse, same spot again. We're gonna switch over to the drop shot. Got the six inch straight tail robo worm, morning dawn, killer, killer bait, one eighth ounce cylinder, drop shot weight, 10 pound braid, six pound floor leader on my Luz custom drop shot rod. I love the yellow high vis line, love it. Oh. All right, guys, switched over to the Kai Tech. I believe it's a 3.8 bluegill flash on a 1 8 ounce hook. We're still on the same bank. Been about an hour and a half. We've been out so far, maybe. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. What's that? My Kai Tech. Oh, man. First break off of the day, guys. Hurts like hell. Hopefully, it's the last. Don't like that at all but i'm not gonna let that get in my head the worst part of that whole experience is watching your bait go flying and you can't do nothing about it yeah that sucks got one yep <laughs> it's about to jump all right guys we moved down to a new spot on the same bank Went back to a moving bait. We're just switching up baits. Warren landed one. Nice looking fish coming in steady. Square bill crankbait. Same crankbait he caught on earlier. Oh, he got hooked in the head too. Yep, he got hooked twice. That's a beautiful crankbait. And too bad Warren doesn't know what, uh, he doesn't remember the he brand. I think it's, brand or the name of it. I think it's psychotic looking. Sweet. Second one on the crank. So all these fish have nice bellies. Look at that. They're feeding. Definitely feeding. Very uh, healthy fish. So, so far we're doing pretty good. We're doing different presentations on the same bank and it's working out. We're on our fourth bass. So we're gonna keep this up for as long as it works. It's been maybe 30 minutes since the last catch. Not a bad looking fish. All right, buddy, thanks for biting. Number two, sorry. Oh yeah, you've been caught before. All right. Go back in. He took off. He was up in the sticks. Yep. Fish number two on this crankbait, guys. Again, wish I remember the name of this thing. I've had it for a while, just haven't thrown it. I'm sure I'll figure it out by the time we post this video. But yep, we're going to continue with this uh, crankbait until we get closer to the noon time, and then we'll probably slow it down. We'll see, though. Whatever the fish dictates, what we're going to do. All right, honey hole, we're going to give you a rest. We did good. Picked it, picked it apart. 
All right, guys, just a little midday update. We had a pretty good morning, started out pretty active, caught fish on moving baits and soft plastic, so that worked out pretty big. Caught those four. Uh, I got, caught a couple on uh, Bandito Bug, and Warren caught well, both y'all on the crankbait? Both of his on the crankbait. We did change it up, threw a bunch of baits, different presentations. We hung out in the same spot for like two plus hours. So that worked out pretty good. Bumped into a couple other guys, said that they fished this whole side over here and got nothing, no bites at all. So I think we made the right call to stay in the hot spot and just work it with different baits, different presentations. So right now we're gonna move out of this area completely, head to the other side of the lake. Uh, it is about 1220 right now, so uh, we'll kind of see how that affects the fish, but we got a little bit more time to fish out here. Oh, before I crash into the bank. Oh, we'll see what the afternoon looks like, guys. Water temps are now up to 50, almost 53 degrees, so maybe that'll help turn on some fish this afternoon. Five hours later. Oh my gosh, it's been a five hours, five hours, yeah, since we got a fish and we got one on the bandito bug. Oh my gosh, Woo! oh my gosh, yeah, you're right. Talk about fish grind right here. Five hours, guys. Look at that chunky belly. Yeah, he's eating. Caught him right over there with that bunch of sticks. Oh my gosh. Man. What a grind. Pretty fish. He's been eating. He does not look like he's been caught before. Thank you, buddy. All right, guys. Bandito bug does it again. Still kicking, same bait from this morning. Third one on this bait. It's the only thing I've caught on today. I've thrown tons of baits. I can't even go through all the baits, including the blade bait. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. You get the best release ever. Here you go. There you go. Thank you, buddy. Whew, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm not losing this one. It's been way too long. Tell you, man, when you least expect it, those fish are hanging around. It's just getting them to commit. Mentally, you're feeling discouraged, like, man, where's the fish? I'm going home. Fish aren't biting. <laughs> Our last catch was at 10.30. It's, it's quarter to four right now. Credit to Warren for saying to come in this cove, because I probably would have passed it. Saw enough people fishing in here earlier today. But we came and gave it a try. All right, guys, we are heading back to the boat ramp. Today was a long, long grind. We got a total of five fish in the boat. Most of the fish, four out of five, were in the morning by 10.30, and then the bite dropped off completely for like five or plus hours. You guys saw we caught that last one on the Bandito Bug. Bandito Bug absolutely crushed it today. Out of all the baits I threw, which I think were around 10 different baits, the Bandito Bug caught all the fish for me. Warren caught two on the crankbait earlier this morning as well on a really nice looking crankbait, bluegill. We'll try to get the name on the screen right now for you. We don't know what it is right now. That's it. We'll figure it out. That's his fault. <laughs> anyway, guys, smash that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Leave us a comment as always. We appreciate the view. We appreciate your time. Leave us a comment, guys. We'll see you on the next video.